1st of May signals the start of activities, which climaxes in the famous Memorial Day Classic. Drivers and crewmen arrive from all parts of the country, for Indianapolis is the mecca of the racing fraternity. Now begins a time of testing, experimenting, and retraining. Cars are towed to the pit area, ready for their first easy laps around the track. The tempo begins to pick up. A feeling of expectation and excitement hangs in the air. And with the approach of the half-century mark, the realization of a dream lies within reach. The much sought after speed of 150 miles per hour. In 1960, a rookie named Jim Herdebees astounds the racing world by qualifying within a split second of the 150 mile per hour mark. Veteran driver and former national champion Tony Bettenhausen accepts the challenge laid down the year before. He tests his new car at a speed of 149.2 miles per hour, just a whisker away from Herdebee's record. This sets the pace, and the search for speed begins. Rookie drivers make their first runs under the watchful eyes of youth sacrificial. Older drivers counsel them about the four tricky corners, puzzles that several generations of racers have tried to solve. The testing continues. Speeds mount higher and higher. And Russ Condon discovers that the wall on turn four is very hard indeed. Then Bud Tinglestad, in his search for speed, loses control for one split second, and turn four begins to look like a giant tic tac toe game. The racing world gets a jolt when John Cooper of England brings his light rear engine car to the speedway. In early tests, Jack Bravo, world road racing champion, drives the Coventry Climax powered car around the Indianapolis track with ease. Speeds of 144 miles per hour are attained and the car shows superior cornering ability. Chief Stewart Harlan Fingler gives John Cooper a list of do's and don'ts, among which is a helpful hint about being sure the wheels are on tight. Turn four again, Dwayne Carter, losing a wheel, spins helplessly down the track as Don Freeland does everything but stand his car on end to avoid collision. Cars are like individuals, but each one has its peculiarities. Another rookie's in trouble. Roger McCluskey woefully inspects his damaged car. Perhaps thinks about some other profession. <laughs> 